Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about my favorite book worlds, my favorite settings, like worlds that I would, for the most part, want to go to and check out books where the setting feels like a character on its own, books where I just get immersed in the world and how it feels and smells and just how I think that I would interact with this world. And that's not saying that like these are like the best places or even the most original. These are just some of my absolute favorite book settings. And I think they really elevate the book itself. And I just think they're so well written and well done and just some some places that I want to check out for the most part. First up, we have The World of Nevermore. And it just seems like such a cool, magical place. Like, I want to go there. I want to go and visit the hotel specifically. That hotel with all its eccentric guests and its really cool rooms and like the rooms that adjust themselves to your personality and your likes and a giant talking cat and a dwarf of vampires and I just that world itself just seems so fun and so cool and I just I want to check it out a world where you have to like use an umbrella to fly and jump on a train to another place like how does that not sound just like a great time because I think it sounds like a great time. I also really love the setting in The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I have a full review for this book. If you want to check it out, I will link it for you. But the setting in this book, the actual circus itself, like I talk in my review about how it feels so real. It feels like a place that you could really visit. And it makes me want to go to the circus and eat some caramel corn. Like it talks about like the different carny food and just the feeling of this circus. And I love it. I love it. I've been absolutely loving like circus books in general lately. So you have any circus books that you want to recommend? Uh, let me know because your girl needs more more circus in my life. If it is not a circus, I want to read it. But it's so good. Like I love the characters and everything, but the atmosphere and the setting in this circus is just top notch. Next up, we have the world in Skyward, but specifically Star Sight. <laughs> because it doesn't sound fun to be in book one. And without spoiling things, we open up the world much, much more in book two. And we get to see some pretty cool places in this book. And I want to go here and meet all the different people that are living on the planet that we get to check out in Starsight. Like, there's so many different types of people and like everyone's like, you know, learning how to pilot and I love it. I just think the world in this book specifically is so well done and well written and well expanded upon from book one that I'm so excited to see where Sanderson takes it with the next book that comes out later this year. Next up, we have Kings of the Wild. I just think the world in this book is fun. Like, probably because there's so many like classic rock references and like Dungeons and Dragons references. Like it just makes me want to visit this world so much. Like the forest seems super deadly, but like I want to go visit the world where mercenary bands are treated like rock stars. And like I just, I do. It just sounds like fun. This whole book was just fun. And I really need to read the second bloody rose. I have it back there somewhere. But it was just a good time. And the setting is just fantastic. Like, it's a world where mercenaries are rock stars. And there's kings 
and bards and it's just fun and it's also just a really cool place to be and i want to be there next up we have black sun and the world in this is so interesting we actually get to see quite a few different places in this world in this book and all of them are so different and so interlinked at the same time that it's like, you know, that Rebecca Rowanhorst put so much work into her world building. We get to see like the big city, like the major city hub, but we also get to see like the smaller places and we get to see like the slums. And I just think it is so well done. And we get to see how different areas think of things differently and you know they have different cultural norms different people i felt like the setting in this book and the world is just so immersive and so expansive and i'm really excited to see what happens with book two because of how you know everything kind of comes together at the end of this one next we have all the stars and teeth by adeline grace this is set in like a kingdom of different islands so it's like one kingdom and a bunch of islands and i love anything that has to do with islands water pirates and mermaids and we get all of that in this and we get to explore the different islands and their different cultures kind of a little bit on this and we get to explore this like one island that like it was cut off from the rest of them i really liked this book but it uh it reminds me a lot of like a slightly older Moana. Like there was a part in this where I'm like, I literally wanted to be like the sea she calls me because it gave me some real Moana vibes, but in a good way, in the best way possible. Like I loved it and I can't wait to read book two. I need to pick that up. But it's just the island hopping in this and you know, we get to learn all the lore of the world and I just think the world building is so good in this and it's a world that I would love to visit. Like I want to be on an island somewhere learning about magics and hanging out with a mermaid after reading this. Then we have Jasmine Throne. This is a book that I just recently read from NetGalley and the world building in this book is fantastic. It is like an Indian inspired world and you can just feel feel how lush and colorful and vibrant this world is when they describe like the saris and just the way that they dress and just the different like wood elements like I love that like the forest elements are included because I am a sucker for a like creepy forest a beautiful forest like a forest in general I'm here for. I love it. And there's a lot of like foresty vibes in this. And I just think the world seems so cool. And I really want to see more of it. And I want to see more of the religions in this world because I think they're really well done and well realized. And I want to know more about them. And I want to know more about the magic. Like just the world itself is it's one of my favorite settings, which obviously all of these are some of my favorite settings because this is what this video is. And then finally, we have Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst. This is again set in a forest. We are set in a magical forest where everyone lives in the trees and like the houses are made out of trees. Like you can kind of see it on the cover, like the houses are like in the trees. I want to live in a house in a tree. I, like without like minus like vengeful spirits trying to kill me i want to live in this world because <laughs> living in a tree spirit house when the spirits aren't trying to kill you like that sounds fantastic right so in this we follow our main girl delina like from you know age seven up until about age 20 she goes to a magic school and she's trying to learn magic of the world basically and then you know the queen controls all the spirits and the, uh, she might be slipping up because some places are getting destroyed by some spirits that shouldn't be and stuff happens like i did a whole review for this if you want to watch it but the setting is so lush and 
foresty and I just, I love it. And I need to read the rest of the series. All right. Well, those are all the books that I think have some of the best settings, some of my favorite settings. Let me know what you think of any of these. Let me know what books have your favorite settings. What do you like to see as far as like world battling and settings go? Do you like like an urban world? Do you like a more like high fantasy? Do you like, you know, the ocean or like I like the circus settings and the forests like let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you guys for hanging out with me my name is Jessie and I will see you next time bye